All right, guys, I'm appearing as a dog today. <laughs> That's something new they have. Uh, but I'm just gonna detail my experience with this group of people. Because if you said, what have I noticed? All these people that are harassing me, if you said from all over the world, no. And they're from one chat board in the UK, every single one of them. If you said, well, they've, what have you asked these people to, I've asked them repeatedly, what methodology are you using? <laughs> if you said they've, they tell you to shut up and then call me all kinds of names. First, I was a terrible trainer. Oh, I tagged Amanda by accident. She doesn't have time for this. But now it's basically just shut up. If you said, well, that's how the world works. If you tell somebody that they, something they don't want to hear, they tell you to shut up and then you shut up. They don't have any obligation to explain. An organization claiming to be e-collar experts has no reasonable expectation to be asked to explain what they're doing and what methodology they're employing. They have repeatedly stated they have the backing of the Dobbs Training Center, which is the developer of the low-level stimulus method. These people are acting from a scientific, scientific viewpoint. They're not acting from a scientific viewpoint. If you said, what did I, th I thought all British girls were like this Janine, this Janine Brown's word. And she has like a hyphenated, I thought, th I didn't realize there were these other girls. <laughs> They're not nice. And if you said, well, they've sent serious pro after serious pro to explain to you, crazy lady, here is what we're doing with the e-collar. Here is the methodology, lady. Here's the science behind it. You take a dog for two weeks, you'll correct it, it's fine. And I'm supposed to shut up because it's now deteriorated to they all, they can no longer say the training is shit. They just have a personal vendetta against a complete stranger in Facebook in America. If you said, well, they feel like what you're doing with the pager is hurting these dogs based on what they're viewing. Based on what they're viewing. I don't understand why this Roddy Kirk doesn't come forward and say, listen, lady, here's what we require from our members. We have competency. Don't kid yourself, lady, that we don't have competency standards. I was told John Reed's dogs are afraid of him by a reliable source that had dealings with him. His own personal dogs, cowering, afraid. If you said these people have science on their side, they have results, they have client after client after client. They just ran a contest and they've literally had so many entries with people raving about the results with the e-collar that the internet crashed. Really? Yeah, that it, if you said, how did this all start? I'm gonna tell you how it all started. I posted a video on Muzmuz. These Danny Wells decided I'm a complete lunatic he gets, starts forming a cyber lynch mob of these 30-something Brits, dog experts, all of them. If you said, like, the ones that have the letters behind their names, I don't think any of them have those letters behind their names, do they? There's something over there where they, I thought Lucy told me about it, that you have to have this cer certificate. Or, I don't know. I should, they don't seem to. And that they've come to you and explained and explained and explained to the point it's clear that you're just an insane woman, dog, whatever. And they've now told the members, listen, every organization has got one kook. You know, look at politics. There are always some kook trying to say you're doing wrong. So let's all just ignore this woman. Now let's keep going to her page and saying, shut up. We don't like you personally. I'll go on her, page, go, go on her uh, Facebook and put one star reviews. If you said, well, what about tit for tat? What if she comes back and puts a one-star review explaining scientifically what we're doing wrong on the balanced dog? We'll just remove the whole review section. None of it makes any sense. I'm not in the wrong that these people truly believe that from across the pond, first off, I'm trying to steal. Oh, hi, Sandy. You're not going to get a smart lady like Sandy. Sandy, if I had said, don't use the pager, hit grits with constant, for the last 12 years, 
these people aren't going to do it. Oh, there is. Oh, oh my God, Sandy, listen to me. I just remembered. First off, I don't know what these kids have done to you two. If you said, what was I thinking? What was she feeding these kids? It's like that movie. Honey, we shrunk the parents. I just can't get over how big they are. My main memory of the little one is when you guys came to look at the puppies and me saying, Todd, you, you're going to have to get them out of here. They're going to traumatize the puppies. They were wailing and screaming. God, there's no video of that. Us kids should thank God. I didn't do what YouTube that. But I had made them one time do this. Um, you weren't there. It was all of the kids and uh, Todd. I'm going to go find it. I'll post it on Diamond Bar. If you said you made them do some test of mine, yeah, they were good too. Yes, that's who these people are. They're smart, so there's not much they can't do. They're not going to be convinced. What do these people say to people when people say, well, what about this vibrate mode? Oh, pfft, don't use that. That'll hurt them. Now, who would believe that? If you said their client, clients are doctors and lawyers. Uh, this Nikki Butler went online stating I was insane and needed to be put in an insane asylum, Alice. If you said a small microcosm of balanced trainers. Yeah. So if you said, what did they do? They came at me. They put one star reviews on my page and said, you're a troll. We don't like, don't, you're not going to tell anybody how to use an e-collar lady. You shut up, lady. You don't know how to use an e-collar lady. You're crazy, lady. LOL. Nobody thinks you're sane, lady. If you said, well, that seems reasonable. So if you said, then what did you do, Kelly? Your usual went after this Nikki Butler like a rabid hyena? No, Alice, not a rabid hyena. A rabid hyena that just got maced, hit with a taser, had also distemper and rage issues. I took her video of her looking a dog dead in the motherfucking eye and hitting it with constant. If you said, what did the dog do? Alice, that's how you met me. Those motherfuckers had told you to hit those dogs with constant. Let me tell you people how I met Alice. She did it. The dog started screaming like a motherfucking banshee. A young German Shepherd, that's what they do. They scream to the point the neighbors are going to call animal control. She, in desperate need of help, goes to the chat boards. If you said, what did they tell her? Buy an additional box to put on the collar. Now have two boxes and teach this dog to get used to it. If you said, I don't believe you. Oh, hi, Ellen. Ellen was there. I think Ellen was there when I first met Alice. Anyway, Alice, you need to be nice to Alan. He's a good guy. I, he can get out there, do videos, everything else. What school? Oh, that Tom Rose school. Whatever. If these people actually think the solution to my stating they're using the e-collar wrong is to stay shut up, we have a personal vendetta. This Rebecca Booth, a member of the association, and Stephanie Bailey, both on and on. This Rebecca's going to shank me. This Stephanie Bailey, on and on and on. If you said scientifically, he's trying to say, listen, crazy lady. Here's what they're doing, stupid lady. How is one person upsetting these people that bad? If, if I am, as this Nikki Butler has diagnosed me, if you said, well, she's been in business a long time. Alice, the woman's been in business since 2016. Oh, hi, Amelia. Amelia, you need to just switch teams and come on our team, girl. You're a very talented trainer. You're a beautiful girl. Don't go with those people. If you said, I don't see Lucy getting any results. Uh, uh, Lucy will tell you right now her life changed since she met me. <laughs> Amelia's like, get over yourself, lady. It's true, though. It's a way of seeing the world. And it's a way of seeing your own weaknesses until you can understand your own weaknesses. You really don't know your strengths. If you said, what am I thinking? These things are fast as a motherfucker. If they're going to do something, <laughs> I'm going to be going, oh, my God. <laughs> when people say, why didn't you do anything? Well, it happened so fast is why I didn't do anything. If you said, why didn't this grandma stop this dogs from killing this kid two days ago? Why didn't the grandmother stop the fucking dogs from killing the kid? 
if you said you had a pit bull fight that you literally stopped in 10 seconds and these people formed a mob saying, why didn't you stop it? Oh my God. I said, I did stop it. What the fuck are you talking about? If you said there isn't anybody, if you said I went to that Romanian guy, Ivan. In fact, I think I'm going to message Ivan and say, where's that video you did about balance trainers? Mike, get on Ivan's page and find the balance trainer. That that's a fucking puke ass fucking name, and I'd never call myself a balance trainer video. And then go find the one from K91 World that says, I'll never call myself a balance trainer again. These people act like I'm the, if I'm the only person on the planet against them, and I'm clinically insane, who cares? Why do they keep sending people to my page, friend me, and then after viewing the work, say, we have a personal hatred for you? <laughs> I have a personal hatred for the way they're training dogs with the e collar. They're not able to state what the methodology is. They don't have the endorsement of the Dobbs Training Center who developed the low-level stimulus method. They don't. If you said, yes, they do, they've got it in writing. No, they don't. If you said, I saw your Roddy Kirk charlatan video, that looks like some serious fucking pro. Do you honestly think if I showed any of this stuff to Godfrey? Godfrey isn't well. I gotta start a go fund me for Godfrey because of all the chemo and everything or the radiation. He's not doing good. And I was supposed to, he kept calling me and calling me yesterday. I couldn't even answer the phone. I said, Godfrey, these three pit bulls got tripped off. I gotta get him put up and stuff. So I just told him, then I was so tired. I told him I'd call him tomorrow. But listen to me, you guys. This is, I, I don't have time to get bogged down. When I started figuring out, you know, if you said you're getting attacked from around the world, you got German trainers coming at you, you don't have a friend in Germany. Yeah, I do. If you said Pat Burns would immediately, Pat Burns on your friend list, we're gonna get your work. And we're gonna show it to Pat Burns because we're some ballsy sons of bitches. We, we, we Brits, we some ballsy sons of bitches. Sure, we tucked our tails and pissed all over ourselves when it came to Dunkirk, but we're gonna stand tall now against this crazy woman, a clinically insane woman. At Dunkirk, Mike is like going, okay, you're pushing it now, lady. Not you, you're the people that saved them. Anyway. If you said, what about Scotland and the Germans? Churchill said, the Scots are our friends. Churchill said, the Germans are getting ready to invade Scotland. Mr. Churchill, shall we send troops, Mr. Churchill? Shall we send every regiment we have? Shall we send the Queen's best to Scotland to stop the Germans from invading Scotland? Those skirt wearing Scots. If you said, what did Churchill say? Eh, not really. <laughs> He actually didn't have a British accent. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> Sharon, this is what he said. Mr. Churchill, shall we send our best regiments? The Germans are, are, are lining panzers up along the Scottish border. They're getting ready to move on Scotland. What should we do, Mr. Churchill? Shall we send our finest regiments, Mr. Churchill? Mm, not really. <laughs> Mandy, anyway, listen. Yeah, Mandy, Mandy knows. Mandy had bad trainers and wasted money. It, we're not playing around here. This isn't high school. We're supposed to be scientists. And, and for Danny Wells to say this isn't based on science. I sit there and tell these people, go to the Dobbs Training Center and say, is this chick legit? And they've come back at you and come back at you and come back at you and said the Dobbs Training Center says we don't have any clue who this woman is. She does not have a dealership with us. We have never. We don't know who she is. I'm having a recall contest right now with Godfrey as the judge. If you said, has anybody entered? No. If you said, are you worried? If I, we, I told Godfrey, don't worry. I said, you're judging a contest. Don't worry. No one's going to enter. If you honestly think, if you said, I, I took, grabbed six of your recalls and I showed them to someone that doesn't even speak English and they said, no, no good. No, no, bad, bad. Look out the fuck on. Georges doesn't even speak English. I know I say your name wrong. I'm going to say it right. Georgios, Georgios, Georgios Nicoladius, Latis, Rot. I love you, Georgios. I do. <laughs> the dog, yes, the dogs love you. That's what people are looking for. They're looking for high engagement. And if you said you don't have, 
You're, you're, you don't have any engagement. That, the engagement is the name of the game. These people telling me to shut up, if you said, well, that's how the history of the world has always gone. If somebody tried to say something wasn't doing right, the other people sent the most vicious Brits that they had and said, shut up. And then you Americans, you people would be speaking German right now. Ich bin ein Berliner. That would be you people. Ich bin ein Berliner. That would be you, Roddy Kirk. Deutschland. You people would be speaking German if it wasn't for us. So that's why we broke away from you puritanical whack jobs. <laughs> Jenny and Isabel Mike are like, block, block. This is directed at those people, not you. It isn't everybody. It's a demographic. It, there are, if you said, who are these people? They'll be appearing in the comments any minute. If you said, what will they say? You're a bitch. We don't like you. It's personal. If you said, what do you say? That's very odd. If you said, what do you, do you have burning hatred towards them? I have burning hatred towards the way they're training because they need to stop doing that immediately and start doing what I'm doing and their results will prove immediately. <laughs> if you said, get over yourself, they're not gonna do what you say any more than you're gonna shut up because they tell you to shut up. But if they really cared about dogs and they really looked at the results and said, I don't see any science. Your subtasks are muddled. If these people don't use the word subtask. They don't use the word methodology. They don't use the term three action introduction. They don't have any speed. They have leashes on inside. It's a well-known fact. You start with the recall with an e-caller. So if you said anybody not starting with a recall is either a lardy disciple or doesn't know what they're doing. That's the only two choices. If you are not starting with a recall, you're either a lardy disciple if you said, what's that? You don't know what that is. Then you're not one. <laughs> Let's put it this way. If you don't know what a lardy disciple is, you're not one of them. So if you're not starting with a recall, you're either a lardy disciple or you don't know what you're doing. These are facts, you guys. I'm not. Do you think this guy, Georgios, watches my videos because he sees terrible training? He doesn't even speak English. Do you, Georgios? Anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to go. But that's been my experience. And if you said, I hope that they do all appear in the comments because I'm screenshotting all this, including the video of Roddy Kirk, grotesque misuse of the e-collar. If you said, well, he doesn't give a fuck. He, he's willing to put that up on public review. He'll put that on Muzz, Muzz saying, here I am. Fine, let's put it on Muzz, Muzz then and see what happens. <laughs> I don't want to be like this. I was Roddy Kirk's friend three or four or five years ago. If you said you weren't doing pager work, so... Yes, I was. I've been doing pager work since 1997. If you said, well, they never heard of you because you don't go on the chat boards. Who cares? That doesn't mean I don't exist or the work doesn't exist or the work isn't valid. And them telling me to shut up, I don't know where that ever worked. If you said, well, that's how they are with the dogs. It does something they don't want. They attack the behavior. That's what it seems like. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go out there and train the three pit bulls and anybody that knows me. If you said all, oh, there's all kinds of people that say, my name is Mandy and I took my dog Parker there and we spent thousands and got no results. <laughs> Please. I'm supposed to be going to dinner with Mandy. She loves me. I don't even deserve her love. If she said she has love to give and she wants to give it to you. Yes. <laughs> she likes to take me. She likes to watch me eat yummy food. <laughs> Just like Parker. <laughs> she said then she gives you candy and makes you fat. <laughs> Melissa knows. Yeah, Alan, it's ridiculous. That, but that, am I wrong? Does this not make sense? If, in reality, I'm the only person that has a problem with these people, and I am, as they say, clinically insane, what possible? Why do they keep giving me? They should just say, ugh. If you said they have attacked and attacked your work and saying you're putting the pager in the wrong place, you're training in too much drive, they're going too fast, there's too much animation, the, the, your, your returns on your retrieves are as slow as, as slow as they come. I've developed all this stuff. If you said, and like that girl in the video that was pointing, pointing, pointing at the eggs that were six inches away. If you said that's what they all do, there's no pointing in dog training.
If you said you go like this, that's not pointing. It's now you can't see my hands. I don't have paws on here. Anyway, that's what it is. But if you said people that know you like this, Melissa have can say, yeah. Over the years, I've I've known her to be quite shady, quite shady. And Melissa knew me before I moved out to this property. If you said what would be the timeline, as far as she knows, I've been here training dogs. I found this little video of Blazer. If you said every experience these people had, they could say nothing, but she did everything she could, given with what there was to work with, and and utilizing technology. If you said they're utilizing, you cannot accuse these people of utilizing technology in the wrong way. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And if you said you have a, I don't have anything personal against them at all. I love people with British accents. Thank God you all aren't speaking German. And before you get mad, that was an episode of Friends that I stole that line from. So before you Brits go into a rage saying she sang Ich bin ein Berliner, and that was Kennedy's line, and we sang that we'd all be speaking German and that we tucked our tails and ran at Dunkirk. That's how they made the movie. <laughs> that was all on Friends, so don't come at me. It was when Ross married the British girl. And Ross's parents did get along with the British girl's parents because they're making them pay for everything. It all deteriorated into the end to Ross's father stating, if it weren't for us, you people would all be speaking German right now. <laughs> if you, you threw in the Ich bin ein Berliner. I'm not a crazy lunatic. If you said, well, they said you have bad grammar and you come across as a redneck. I'm more articulate in person. I'm a terrible typer. I know, Melissa, and you know, that was all he had at that time. If you said that, that's how it is to these people. That when these people bring these dogs to me desperate for results, that that dog even got to move into that apartment with the landlady. If you said what happened, Jimmy said, well, Blazer's gotta meet the landlady before we can move in. If you said, what did you say? Uh, God, kill me now. If you said, what did I say? I said, Jimmy, get treats, get the pager, just go out there and put on a little demo for the landlady of the dog healing and downing and all these things. All they're going to see is an obedient dog. You know, if she wants to pet all on it, just, it's not that kind of dog. Just do a demo. He got in there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go out there and train, but that's been my experience. I'm, they're going to all start coming and start putting angry in the video. They've explained and explained and explained the methodology. They're all training and drive. They don't even use food. They don't even use food. If you said they're training and retrieve drive, they're not training in any drive. There's no food. There's no toys. There's nothing. If you said, well, some of them have food. There's a difference between having food and a dog being in drive. There's dogs that'll take food. Yes, it's like you're at a bar or something. Someone gives you a drink. You don't want it. You'll take it, but just throw it in the plant. Yeah, Claire. I don't want you to be offended by my uh, plagiarizing the script from Friends that you people would all be speaking German. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be controversial, Claire. And besides, it's not me. I'm hiding behind a mask of the internet. <laughs> But that's what it is. I'm under attack. This guy attacked this morning. Oh, shut up. If you said, well, whenever someone tells me to shut up, I zip it. I say to myself, why don't they just answer these questions? Charlotte Groom, Nathan, or whatever the guy's name is. Uh, Leslie, Carmen, Stephanie's not smart enough. But state, this is the methodology. This is the flow chart. This... Here's a whole video series, lady, figure it out. The dog is jumping off the page with joy. Only an insane person would see unhappy dogs. So you are clinically insane, and we don't continually give an audience to insane people, so we no longer are going to answer your ridiculous questions because we've answered them and answered them. We've stated, here's the methodology. We also have the endorsement of the Dogs Training Center. We have a very comprehensive e-collar conditioning program that lasts several, several weeks. It's like a weekend. Or they go there in one day and do it. They go there in one, they go to someone's house, they take the e-collar and a long line with no food and put it on the dog. She was some Brit from this association Claire, again, exactly. If you said Claire, an, an intelligent, educated, 
married mom who owns her own business saw this Samantha and said, Oh my God, she's right. Kelly's a terrible person. I'm going to join the association. Even the dog can't say that with a straight face. You know, I, I do, you know. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to shut up. I'm now actually going to screen grab all of this stuff and say, dear Maurice Golden and whoever else I, whoever else I can find and say, this has been my personal experience. If you said you're going to get a letter from, I am going to tell Regina, please ask Phyllis. I don't even want to have to ask her to do that. But if you said these people have called and called and called and repeatedly come back at you and said Dobbs Training said, said you neither have a dealer, have not had a dealership with them for over 20 years. They don't even know who you are. And Doctor also. I probably still have a dealership with Doctor. I don't use it though. Uh, if you said why, only just because sometimes people contact me from there. It must be cash somewhere. You know, and, 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 and Doctor stated, no, she was never with our pro staff. And no, we haven't gone through many ownership changes over the years. Oh my God. I don't even know who runs it anymore. If you said it's a family from North Korea, or not North Korea. No, I'm sorry. They're not North Korean. They're South Korean. And they're the same family as the people that run this company called DT. Brittany, I'm gonna do videos for you, Brittany. If you said, I went to a horseback riding clinic and they said it was all about how you hold your hands. Yes. And it, that's dog training too. I'm just, I'm compartmentalizing these people, but I am, I'm, this is my experience with the Association of Balanced Dog Trainers. If you said that's why balanced dog training is widely regarded as the pinnacle, pinnacle. Everybody, every decent serious problem on the planet has said, that's not me. <laughs> When somebody said that to me one time, I'm a balance trainer just like you. If you said, I didn't know what they were talking about. Oh, hi, Lucy. No, no, Claire, they just will not answer me. And these are serious questions. If you said you've done nothing but said, listen, Nikki Butler, I've got a personal vendetta. And I, like you said, am clinically insane. So I think it's really good that you just keep going online. If someone truly was clinically insane, why would you bully them online if they have a mental illness? If I truly have a mental illness? So if you said that's the kind of people they are, if someone has a mental illness, they keep picking at them. <laughs> well, that's not good. So if you said anybody, all you're gonna have to do is put a little compilation of your work and any reasonable person that girl, Julie, the vet, if you said, what did she say? She said, I didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> I didn't know how you were getting them to do that. If you said, well, she sees dogs every day, how much could she know? <laughs> exactly. She couldn't understand how I was getting that result. If you said, because she, she never saw that result before. If you said, how are you getting that result? Developing it over a long time and getting rid of everything that was slowing it down. Figuring out what was causing it to go slow, not trying to speed it up. I guess I got it where I, it was at a reasonable speed, but if you, if you said, then what did I say? Not how can I get it to go faster? What's slowing it down? What can I remove? Oh no, I'm a mentalist. Yes, they've left one star reviews on my, a mentalist. And my name and saying, no, no, don't go together. If you said that's their review of someone who they've deemed mentally ill, if that really was the case, if I truly felt that this Nikki Butler was mentally ill, do you think that I would say, I have a person, I hate you. So now there's just strangers on the internet hating her. <laughs> if you said these people are from all over the world, they're saying, we're looking at your work, it's garbage. These people are trying to explain to you and you need to stop putting their work in slow-mo is only accentuating what they're doing right. So. Keep on, lady. Keep on putting their work in slow-mo because it's accentuating what they're doing right. And you're just, they actually now am saying, I'm jealous. I'm trying to steal their, steal their business. Do you think I'm going to tell the, their clients, oh, it's, yeah, well, sure, it's just a 24-hour flight across the pond. How, how long can that take? Take 10, 15 minutes to train the dog. You'll be back on your way home. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm going outside to actually train. But, you know, if you said, who is my demographic of getting dogs trained? Lacrosse moms. That's my demographic, lacrosse moms. If you said, I've looked at your reviews. I don't, I don't see a single, prof single professional. There's three main types of clients. Doctors, lawyers, and builders. If you're still there, Sandy, you're in the builder category. If, it's just an observation I made over the years. I seem to have three kinds of clients. They're doctors, they're lawyers, or they're builders. If you said you've got to give them a big sell, not really. I explained to him, it's we're going to put this collar on, we're going to use it to communicate and reinforce things and blah, blah, blah. If you said they have already heard and heard and heard so they don't need to hear anymore, they don't need to hear. Ramco, I'm a dog now. And if you said the opinion of Ramco means, it does mean a lot to me. People don't, you know, if you said you're not humble, I am humble. If you said you know you all the time trying to out, I tell all the time, Ramco knows a lot more about German Shepherds than me. You better keep friends that know more about dogs than you do. Ugh. If you said Ramco would go online stating she doesn't know jack shit about German Shepherds, I don't think he would say that. If you said he said you have show dogs, no, I think he would say that. <laughs> you know. If you said from what he can see, you don't belong using an e-collar. I don't think he'd say that either. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm going to go out there and actually train Kevin. I just had a good feeling about Kevin. I'm going to tell you, Kevin, there was one thing that bothered me on the video. Kevin's like, oh, no. I'm just going to message you what it was. Oh, there was just one little thing I saw that bothered me. You know, if you said this association, they're putting up challenges. They're telling their members, listen, people, push it, push it, push the envelope. We're trying to sell this to the government here. Three years ago, Sean O'Shea, Jeff Gelman, and Roddy Kirk went to the government to share their experiences with the e-caller. Shortly thereafter, the band went, started grinding through the legal system. If you said that's, yes, it is true. They went there in 2017. Sean and Jeff talked about their experiences, how for, in two weeks they rehabbed every aggression issue and everything was fine. And shortly thereafter, the government said, we wouldn't consider banning anything like that. No, they started the wheels turning to ban the collar. And I respect your opinion a lot too, Kevin. Kevin knows. If you said, Kevin will tell you there isn't a person on Facebook with a Malinois that doesn't know what they're doing. Kevin will tell you half of these fucking people don't have a fucking clue what they're doing with these Malinois. And these people that say, oh, if there's a movie about Dalmatians, they better watch out. Everyone will go buy one. Okay, that's what's really happening with Malinois and pit bulls. Oh, those people have a Malinois. Am I wrong, Kevin? They're going to go get a Malinois now. If you said, well, they're good, hand good handlers. I can't even do a trained retrieve. And if you said there is trainer after trainer, and I don't dislike that Charlie Randolph. I don't know why he and I don't get along, but if you said they, they got some out and sons of bitches, they got, they got the, these Americans have got people like Remco perking up their ears and saying, how in the fuck are they getting that result? Whereas they're looking at your recall videos and saying, a slow American, a ridiculous, crazy woman. Stop. This is what these people keep saying. Stop. Stop. There's a Malinois in a movie now. Oh, God. It's not that, Kevin. It's the people, the wannabe trainers that aren't going to put the, the shortcut artist, the shortcut artist, this, this Sean O'Shea lives in a subdivision with a postage stamp yard. If you said you blood, sweat, and tears to buy this five acres of land. Yeah, I'd start it with nothing. That was blood, sweat, and tears. If you said it's paid for now so you can afford to be more of a cocky jerk. Then I could be, I, I'm the same as I always was. If you said, oh, she's been saying stuff to us for years. Yeah, I've been saying stuff. You know, but these people can't handle these dogs. If you said they're putting a lot of importance on getting them out, not that I can see. They're putting a lot of importance on prolonged hard bites, but not being able to stop it. So that once this thing gets loose from these weak handlers, it's all she wrote. It's going to latch onto something. 
They just, Kevin, this is terrible, but they just had about two hours from here, there's this little community kind of like this, where it's kind of all rural. Everybody's got animals. Everybody's got large lots of land. And this grandma and the two-year-old um, grandson, the the her she's got two daughters she was going to one daughter's house to let out these rescue dogs while her daughter was out of town taking the other daughter's two-year-old child she stepped into the house the child was in the backyard looked outside didn't see the child then heard a commotion over by the shed and it was the dogs mauling the kid to death if he said why didn't she stop it like i didn't stop that pit bull fight uh she couldn't. She tried. She also suffered grievous injury. So if you said, well, that doesn't sound like anything serious. Two weeks ago, a an infant was killed by a babysitter's dog. If you said, well, that doesn't sound that serious. Two weeks before that, a woman was killed by her own dogs after she was wrestling around playing tug-of-war with them. And they just didn't feel like playing tug anymore. They took it to the next level. If you said, oh, I don't believe that. Anyway, I, I just, that's, you know, if you said this Kevin guy spotted you as a phony right away, he didn't spot me as a phony right away. <laughs> I've spent 30 years working with these collars. There is a very specific way to get this result, and everybody should want that. It, the new buzzword is going to be engagement. And... If you said, well, it doesn't sound like teamwork. <laughs> You're working as a team. You want highly engaged, animated individuals. If you said, I've seen the way you send yours with the pager on a retrieve. No, it's, it's, there isn't anybody that's going to be looking for something, that kind of shit like that. <laughs> They're exploding. They're exploding. The beha behavior is explosive. If you said, explain it in a scientific way. Some Pavlovian twist. Some Pavlovian twist. That vibration is going right to... The reptilian part of the dog's brain that's saying, I've located a food source, the success rate is 110%. We going for it again and again. Nothing's ever happening. Yeah, except for when we decided not to go for it. And somehow, a group of Klingons moved in and nah, 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 nah. these people don't even understand indirect pressure. If you said, no, I like to put a lot of personal pressure on a dog right around me. The reason I can get control of these very, very aggressive dogs, it's called drop a baby grand piano on them when they're far away and saying, any port in a storm, and here's, not only here is a port, it's a luxury liner, and we're serving snacks. So if you said you're taking that and kicking them right back into food drive, and that's why they'll eat after a tremendous amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. That's why they'll eat after a tremendous amount of pressure. If you said these people aren't even using food, so how, how do you know they wouldn't eat? You can tell they wouldn't eat. Anyway, Kevin, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you that there's just one little thing I saw, but I'm going out there now, too, to train. And your support means a lot to me. And I, you, if you said, to me, this guy's a serious pro. He's a young gun, and he's, he's going to do this for the rest of his life. And if you said that these other people, I don't think they are. I don't think they're serious. I don't. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back.